Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life channel. This week you're going to see a couple of different videos that are not related. The only thing that's common in them is that there are gaps. And particularly with the first video that I did with Paul Walker in the afterlife, I don't know anything about him. And I feel like I really misinterpreted, misunderstood, or screwed it up. Like I just was not very good psychic that day, apparently. But instead of deleting the video and never sharing it with anyone or editing it, I'm like, hey, a great opportunity to show you the integrity that Above Life Channel is shared with and the authenticity. Because being a psychic does not mean you're superhuman. It means we are human. I'm a person just like you. So the Paul Walker stuff is kind of all over the place. And maybe it's just because I don't know him. I didn't know him. I didn't follow him. And so you guys can fill in the blanks and maybe you guys can connect some dots that I just couldn't see myself. So let's just get at it. Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life channel. Here the purpose of our weekly videos is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. This week's channel is with Paul Walker. Now, you know that I like Hollywood types, and this was someone that was actually um, recommended by one of you. One of the viewers suggested that I channel Paul Walker, and I thought that was a great idea. Now, here are some things that I know before opening into this channel with Mr. Paul Walker, is that I know that he was affiliated with the Fast and Furious franchise. I know that he died in a car accident. I know that he was young, like 30s, like in his 30s or late 20s. And I know that he has like blonde hair. He was considered very good looking and an up and coming actor. I never really watched The Fast and Furious, so I don't know his acting and I don't know his role in that, those movies. Um, but I do believe that his accident that he had was like, it was either at like a movie premiere or a movie set or something like that. And I believe that his, I think I remember hearing that his son was there or somebody, yeah, I think it, his son was there and he was like test driving something just for fun or going for a joy ride for fun. It was a horrible accident. It was very public. I remember that. I remember the news that there was a lot um, about that, you know, on Facebook and things like that. So that's what I know. All right. And he feels like a Hollywood type. And I have been really drawn in Above Life Channel when I opened the channel to Hollywood itself, like Los Angeles, California, and Hollywood. The Hollywood Hills, Hollywood movies, all those vibrations there. So I'm gonna feel into Mr. Paul Walker and see if he would like to connect. Now I wanna say that it, it kind of felt at first like, wow, that might be an intense one. Um, that might be kind of a, a, a heavy or thick energy one to do, but the thing is, is like I decided, okay, I need, who, who am I going to channel? I want to channel, I feel like channeling. And he is the energy or the name that came forward for me. So I feel like there's not a heavy energy actually, because when we are humans and we transition into full on spirit, it's not, our entire life is not summed up in the defining moment of our death. Your death is simply a doorway. It's a transition between being in a human body to being a full spirit. You're still a spirit when you're a human body. And many people know that. We refer to it as intuition, our soul's voice. And so when we, become, when we leave our body and become full spirit, it's really not that dramatic or traumatic, even if the circumstances surrounding death are, even if it's really dramatic, you know, and, and really incredible, the energy when you become full spirit it doesn't there's none of that attachment to the death point so i know as humans we're really curious about death it seems like a lot of people have a big fear of death and there's just this um kind of this a little bit of a a pressure or a pushing on energy feeling about our own mortality when someone dies so young like that or tragically or suddenly especially so all right, so I'm just gonna tell you, he doesn't feel like that. So I'm gonna feel his energy right here. He's actually, I'm sitting down and he's standing up and he is good looking. I'm gonna say he's good looking. I'd say he's close to six feet. It's hard to tell because I'm not standing, but I think he's close to six feet. And he's like, thank you. <laughs> Maybe I stretched the truth a little bit. He goes, 
just a hair you're a hair off he says I'm like okay I don't know if he's just under six feet or just over six feet um, or if he's like he shows me um, like a headshot of him he's like maybe that's what you know maybe that's what it says on his headshot or whatever he's like can't you do he's like if I wear boots and I literally see him with like a cowboy boot type thing or a boot like a trendy metrosexual kind of boot with a heel so it might not be actually cowboy boots per se but it looks like a boot kind of a shoe and it's like a um, not a cognac color it's darker than that it's like a creamy caramel color that's what it looks like to me um, it looks like he's got a navy blue navy blue like dress pants or suit pants and then uh, a belt that kind of matches that caramel color and then a light blue no it's a lighter it's either a light blue or a light gray um, button-up dress shirt that's what he has and it looked like he had a jacket on too or he has a jacket on too but he he's not wearing the, the overcoat or the jacket and he's rolling up his sleeves because it's warm out here right now it's warm out here he's like yeah in LA he's like where I'm from there's you know it's always hot and right now it's really hot right there it's really hot he's like yeah yeah you melt he's like people come out and all the uh, the ladies with all their make you know just they the makeup and they just melt you know and, like the wax figures and he says I have one he just said I have a wax figure if you know if he does put it in the comments below he's just telling me kind of bragging a little bit that he has a wax figure did you know I have a wax figure I do not and then he shows me a yellow car and a silver car like um, did you so did you like sports cars like in your real life he's like yeah, who doesn't yes uh, they're a lot of fun he says they're a lot of fun and he's showing me um, I think it's a co-worker He's saying a uh, co-worker <laughs> that's a funny name for like an actor I guess but co-worker that's what he says um, I think it's uh, oh gosh I don't know his name is it Vin Diesel is that right the ball the guy bald he's bald he doesn't or he shaves his head um, but he's in the franchise too, the Fast and Furious and he's like oh. he's like good buddy like good buddy like they I feel like they were giving they gave each other crap a lot you know went back and forth a little bit like who's better looking who's got a better mug kind of thing just joking around he's like just guy stuff you know joking around joking around and stuff he's like no he's like he took my death really hard he says he took my death real hard real hard he had a real hard time with it and uh, he says um, I appreciate that they went on with the movie and did they do you guys know Fast and Furious the movie that the the version that <clears throat> excuse me Paul Walker was in did they go on with that did if they did will you put that in the comments below I don't know if they did or not he's saying that they did they went on he said um I feel like he was in part of the movie though like I actually see him like acting in part of the movie oh that would be kind of weird oh that would be kind of weird <clears throat> and he shows me an African-American guy like a Wesley Snipes kind of guy you know and uh, he's like um, I think he's trying to show me parts of the movie scenes from the movie I want to say five or six is it movie five or movie six or something it's a lot it looks like a lot he's like yeah like Star Wars huh he's like yeah just like Star Wars huh <laughs> for people who like racing you know car stuff I don't know um, and then he's showing me oh my gosh I don't know her name there's an actress that I gosh I remember Did you hear that bird back there? Yeah, she's kind of mad because she has a nest over here, and I'm um, in her space, and she probably wants to go get into her nest over here. So we won't talk too long. But there's a like a Latina actress that um, Rosie, somebody Rosie, ooh Rosie, somebody. I can't think of her name. Um, he's showing me her for some reason. I don't know why he's showing me her or what the connection is. Um, but I'm seeing her. And okay, so I don't know what these mean. So I'm seeing kind of random images, and I'm not sure how to connect to them. So maybe you can help me. Um, I see a picture of uh, gosh, I'm so bad with names when I'm being psychic, especially um, Chandler from Friends, the TV show Friends. Um, I can't think of his name right now. I'm blacking. I'm blacking. I'm blanking. Matt LeBlanc was Joey. Who was Chandler? You guys are yelling at the video right now. Um, that actor 
oh, that's crazy. I can't think of his name right now. Um, he was in a movie called When Fools Rush In. I think it was called that. But I hear that song, When Fools Rush In, and I see... Um, is it Matthew Perry? Is that his name? I think that is his name, Matthew Perry. Okay, all right. Um, it didn't sound right, but it, it's, I think it's right. It didn't feel right when I was like saying it in my head. I'm like, that doesn't feel right, but maybe it is. Um, I don't know if Paul Walker and Matthew Perry have anything in common, if they were friends, or if the movie When Fools Rush In was something. Um, I don't know, and then I see that Rosie, that little... Um, I feel like she's petite, like she's shorter than the guys that she often co-stars with. Um, Rosie someone. She's a Latina. I think she's a Latina. I believe so, yes. Actress. Um, he's showing me these, and I don't understand what the message is or the information is. If you do, if you can connect the dots for me, because you know Paul Walker, you know his career, you know his movies that he's been in, we put that below. I can see it when fools rush in. I see Matthew Perry. The guy from Friends. Chandler from Friends. God, I loved that show. Hmm. I don't know if maybe Paul Walker had a cameo or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, he sure has a good looking face. He totally looks like a California guy. And then he's telling me some, something about Iowa. Or no, not Ido Iowa, Idaho, Idaho, Idaho. Some state with an I. That helps. Oh, that helps. All right. That doesn't help that much. I'm being sarcastic a little bit. Um, he says, I sing, you know. I'm like, what? You don't sing? He said, yeah, I do. Yes, I do. I sing. I can sing. He can sing. Paul Walker can sing. Like, I don't know if he actually had a song out or what, but there's something he's saying. I can sing. I can sing. Okay. All right. Um, I feel, feel like he was recently married or recently divorced. So I feel like there was a separation of a relationship and then a, another relationship. Um, I do feel like there was a young boy that, like five, maybe five, that... Um, I don't know if he was a stepdad or a dad. I can't feel the bond. I can't feel it. He doesn't want to talk about the family. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to bring them in. I don't want to bring them in. Um, okay. He's like, it was a horrific mistake. He said it was just one of those freak things. And he said it was just a horrific mistake. He said, I overcalculated. I was going way too fast. It was, he was driving is what it looks like. It looks to me like you were driving. Is that true? It's hard to tell because it looks like there was an eject, like he was ejected or they were ejected. There was two people in the car is what it looks like to me. Um, oh, man. He says he remembers kind of being awake and kind of knowing what's going on, but like a, almost like a weird dream kind of, or like you're on a lot of medication like Novocaine or something or not Novocaine, huh? Whatever numbing. He's trying to describe that he was numb. He felt numb, but he was aware of some things. So I don't know if he's showing me the spirit image, him being able to see what's going on spiritually. And he's showing me like, like firefighters cutting apart the car. I mean, like a huge wreckage is what he's showing me. Um, I see red and black around. Um, I don't know. It's weird because I see like the door opening funny, like sliding back or sliding over or something weird. I don't know. I don't know cars, you guys. I know. Those of you who do are probably yelling at me. What kind of car was it, you guys? I want to say Porsche or Ferrari? Porsche? Porsche? I think it's a Porsche. P-O-R-S-H-E, I think. That's what it looks like. Um, something fancy, real fancy. Um, that's pretty much it though. I mean, I don't feel a whole lot. I'm really hot right now. The sun is really beaten down. I think I'm going to wrap this one. Um, I feel like he's also saying that he had a dog. He's just going to say that like a big dog. I feel like there's a big dog and I don't know if he had a movie where he rode around in a pickup truck with the big dog, but there's a big dog. Like he's my buddy. He's my buddy is what I see. Um, I feel like there was another movie that was waiting in the wings that he was going to enter into and do. And I feel like it was a little bit of a departure from what he had typically done. And it feels like not a redneck movie. That's not exactly what I would describe, but something in the South or something, a movie with a, a plot in the South or something like that. Um, Southern, a Southern movie is what it feels like. I don't know why I said redneck. Maybe because I saw him like kicking around, you know, dirting, mudding, whatever, riding in the mud with a big old, ugly old pickup truck kind of thing. 
Um, but I feel like there was another movie, Waiting in the Wings, that he was um, in, in line for. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So you described how it felt to cross over a little bit, like what you remember. Yeah, it's pretty surreal. He says, um, one minute you're here, the next minute you're there, and you recognize that you're not restricted. There's no confinements. You know, your body is just not needed. It's not necessary anymore. It's just, di it's different. It's, it's just different. It's real, it's really hard to describe. Are you planning to come back and reincarnate? You bet. Absolutely. I, sir, I, a hundred percent. Maybe you can come back as a race car driver. If you really like to drive cars that much, you know, he says, that's possible. You never know. He says, I don't blame the car or anybody else. He's like, I don't blame the car or anybody else. That's crazy. He says, that's crazy. That's crazy. It's just a horrific mistake, he said. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, Mr. Walker. Thank you. And oh, he's, he smells good too, by the way. Yep. Very nice. Thank you. I'd love to chat with you again. If you guys have questions for Mr. Paul Walker, because I don't know a lot about him, put them in the comments below and maybe we'll connect with him again in a future video at Above Life Channel. Remember, the purpose here is to inspire your spirit, to fill you up with hope. It is your life, my friends. So live it. Give this video a like and be sure to subscribe to never miss a new weekly channeling video. Thanks for being here.